मैडम वाइस चेयरमैन आई विश टू रेज बिफोर दिस हाउस ए सीरियस एंड बर्निंग इशू विच इज कॉजिंग ग्रेट कंसर्न इन इंडियन सोसाइटी नेमली द एजुकेटेड अनएम्प्लॉयड इन इंडिया द एजुकेटेड अनएम्प्लॉयड इन दिस कंट्री आर एस्टिमेटेड टू बी फोर्टी मिलियन एज पर द स्टैटिस्टिक्स टेकन इन टू थाउजेंड द एजुकेटेड अनएम्प्लॉयड यूथ इफ नॉट प्रॉपरली एडमिटेड टू जॉब्स गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड इन लाइफ इन देयर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड मूड दे फॉल प्रे टू एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स हु विप अप देयर फ्रस्ट्रेशन अगेंस्ट सोसाइटी we find most of the outlaws militants and naxalites are produced from amongst the educated unemployed youth they go hand in glove with the miscreants in society and do all sorts of violent and turbulent acts of terrorism under the cover of liberalization movement in their misguided enthusiasm and become the enemies of the society these misguided unemployed youth are called militants and terrorists in various parts of the country we have to take immediate and effective steps to wipe off unemployment especially among the educated masses it is time that all politicians cutting across party lines evolved emergent steps to work out for the redressal of the unemployed failing which people will lose their faith in the democratic system it is of course a sorry state of affairs that there is no specific allocation or scheme for the educated unemployed in the annual budget presented by the finance minister the government should start setting up more medical and engineering colleges as well as job oriented industrial outlet outlets in rural districts social service activities can provide good job opportunities for this purpose huge funds are not required the opening of children's nurseries medical and nursing facilities in every village and urban locality would almost offer more than 5 lakh jobs youth force is a timely need of our country since the future of this great nation is to be handled by this generation it is suggested by experts that the government should think of creating a national service force for all able bodied and unemployed citizens the aforesaid national service may be further divided into five compartments for the satisfactory working of the scheme first comes the education and scientific division this branch should concentrate on adult literacy throughout the length and breadth of the country exploration of natural resources and their efficient utilization should be its motto agriculture should be further modernized by adopting agro industrial technology there should be development of renewable resources propagate scientific attitudes for public and personal hygiene and educate the public about civic responsibility through adult and mass education engineering and construction division has to look after the maintenance and repairs of canals dams 
पब्लिक स्कूल्स हॉस्पिटल्स डिगिंग ऑफ ट्यूब वेल्स एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सोलर एंड बायोगैस प्लांट्स एंड ऑल पब्लिक वर्कस वेयर एवर रिक्वायर्ड दिस कैटेगरी ऑफ पर्सनस शुड अटेंड टू कंजर्वेशन ऑफ सॉइल इरोजन मैंटेनेंस ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट रिक्लेमेशन ऑफ फैलो एंड इनफर्टाइल लैंडस एंड अफॉरेस्टेशन एज वेल द नेक्स्ट डिवीजन इज सिविल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दिस शुड एक्ट एज एन एनसीलेरी फोर्स टू दी पुलिस टू सुपरवाइज सिटी ट्रैफिक एंड कीप एन आई ऑन एंटी सोशल एलिमेंट्स अनदर डिवीजन हैज टू लुक आफ्टर दी हेल्थ कंडीशन ऑफ द पब्लिक एंड देयर जनरल फिटनेस दिस डिवीजन शुड कैटर टू द नीड्स ऑफ द एलिंग पब्लिक there should be one cultural division which will rouse the artistic approach of the public and impart further knowledge under this scheme rural areas should be visited by them once or twice in a calendar year they may educate the illiterate public in rural areas about economic plans regarding government loans and subsidy and impress upon them about unity and discipline and other social advancement and about family planning since brain drain in recent years is disturbing us we should have a complete change of policy and make it a point to see that no one is enamored of the privileges enjoyed abroad and should not stick to their stay but return home to raise their country in the world arena right to work should be a constitutional guarantee and in that event the aggrieved individual can move the appropriate court to seek relief this will create more employment to unemployed youth by adopting such tactful measures we can prevent the mass exodus of the educated youth to other countries and develop our country in the above circumstances my suggestions may be considered and the government may announce good schemes to retain our educated unemployed at home to work for the progress of this great nation having failed to export any of our products having invested crores of rupees we are now going back to the same thing as exporting iron ore magnesium ore and we try to export our jute products so that we are going back to the same old stage even after making planning and development for the last 12 years